So back on the island timeline, we've got Jack, Hurley, Kate, and Sawyer on the beach the morning after everyone essentially died. And Jack is stitching up Kate, who's not looking too good. And Sawyer and, and Hurley are just kind of like dumbfounded, like looking out at the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, so after Jack fixes up Kate, he uh, essentially tells them that they should get going to go find Desmond. Um, and then we finally cut back to Ben, Miles, and Richard and get to see what they've been doing for the last three episodes that we haven't seen them. Three or two or whatever. I don't know. When it's once a week, it feels like forever. So we finally get to find out what they're doing, and they are going to... They're, they're just going back to the house they're going to get to, C4 yeah. yep, they're to getting, blow up the plane. So. Yes. Gotta love explosions. So they're going back to Ben's house, back to the Dar which, Dharma Which village. we as viewers are all laughing about because... The plane already had dynamite on it, or C4 no, on yeah, it. Yeah, it already had. It, and it has already been taken off. That's the thing. It's either it's always either dynamite or C4. There's never other any other explosives. Like I guess I guess bomb. that's the only thing, you know, oh, in existence. There's a hydrogen bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There was a hydrogen bomb. Anyways, they get there, and then that weird chick Zoe is there, kind of raiding his kitchen. She's and hungry. And Widmore is there. She's hungry for some reason. Um, and rather than getting like a good explanation. Uh, Whitmore kind of says that Jacob showed up and, and told him what they're w what to do and pretty much invited Whitmore back to the island which I'm not sure if I completely buy that. I'm Just, buy it either because I'm not entirely sure. Killed. I mean it kind of makes mm -hmm. sense. It kind of makes sense because uh, just Whitmore's presence on the island um, yes. seemed to threaten the smoke lock. monster. Mm -hmm. uh, lock, flock, whatever. Unlock. Um, unlock, yes. Um, so maybe it's true, maybe Woodmore's just kind of like a douche about doing everything. Um, but, uh, he comes back, and then the smoke monster shows up, and well, is all... Well, the only reason why I think it's fake is because he got killed. So if, if, ja well, if, if Jacob was like, hey, come back to the island because I need you... Well, it was kind of like Alana. I mean, we saw a flashback of Jacob, like, I need your help, and then she blows up. Which I don't really understand why, like, like, they, she was, was she was like, actually about to do something, and then she blew up. Yeah. Um, so Widmore might have actually been about to do something. Um, and just got killed. Yeah, what you were saying earlier is, um, it was just hilarious, kind of. Not really, it's terrible to say it's hilarious, but it was kind of funny how Widmore was like, Zoe, stop talking, and then he just like, <laughs> cut her throat. Slit her throat. <laughs> cut her to stop talking, now she's useless. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, oh my, that's, wow, that's Locke terrible. Is, Locke is a... He's Pretty uh, pretty mean. And then he just kind of flung Richard across the yeah. tree. We don't know Richard's alive. I'm pretty sure he is, but <laughs> see, I, he just kind of flung him across the tree. <laughs> I get the feeling that some characters are probably going to find Richard in the jungle later, like wounded, and then they're going to do that, like, I can finally be with my wife kind of kind of thing, and then he's going to pass. But, like, I mean, the dude's lived for hundreds of years. Uh, I think it was like 140 years, something mm -hmm. like that. Um so to just be kind of flung through the jungle like that as his end, I mean, he needs know, to have an, a pretty big ending. Yeah, I think they. The, I mean, they definitely because I preferred Ab Eterno over Across the Sea. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I think that they should definitely come back to that. I hope that they do. Um, so uh, Flock recruits Ben to kill people, and, and he's. I guess he looks pretty uh, willing to do so. Yeah. Also. Well, at first I felt like he was like, okay, like he was like, okay, I'm going to go with this as long as I can and maybe, you know, um, turn, turn on him, you know, sort yeah, of to go along, later. to go along with it for now. Um, but then he shot Widmore to death, which I don't really quite get because Widmore is supposed to be on like Team Jacob uh, and no, shut up Twilight fans. Um, Widmore is supposed to be, you know, with Jacob. And I mean, I Ben see, sort of like it looks like he just took like a step back. I see why he did it though, because the only reason why Whitmore was telling Locke these things was to save his daughter. And right. Ben looked at it as you don't get sent to, your yeah. men over to kill my daughter. You don't get to save your daughter. Yeah, so that's why you shot him. Which I, I understand. That. But like, I felt like this was like a but, step step but backwards. When he, yeah, when he had the episode where he from, was like. 
helping out Alex and doing all that awesome yeah, stuff. Yeah, Dr. Linus. I felt like it was yeah. a huge step back from Dr. Linus, and I was a little bit disappointed. Yeah, he was like the man in that one, and then yeah. he was like shooting people again. <laughs> yeah, I really hope... I'm, waiting, I'm just waiting for him to stab somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe they do something to that knife and then sort of like shank him. I don't know. I really wish that um, Ben had kind of stuck with the group so that he could actually have talked to Jacob, which mm -hmm. we'll get to in a minute. Um, when Jacob manifested in, back in reality. Which I thought was cool. Which was awesome, yes, but I, I would have loved for Ben to ha have had that, you know, like, I'm sorry for stabbing you to mm -hmm. death. I sorry was sort for of killing you. lied to. Uh, that would have been kind of cool. So, anyways, um, Desmond's not in the well, somehow. We find that out towards the end of the episode. Mm -hmm. um, and while they, the other group, Jack and Hurley and Kate and Sawyer, are heading to try to find Desmond, um, Hurley sees a young Jacob just in the forest, and this was actually in a sneak peek that got released um, right after last week's episode, and I, I just found that scene incredibly hilarious, uh, just because, I mean, it's like, kid Jacob, and then he turns around, and he's like right there, and he just, wow. he just kind of freaks out, and then the kid's like, give me those ashes, <laughs> Why? They're in your pocket. They're mine. <laughs> They're mine. <laughs> Give them to me. And he just sort of snatches them and, and takes, takes off, off running. running. Yeah. Uh, but he just I... stole like candy or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like it's like he just oh mine and then left. Uh, but I thought that that was actually really cool that Jacob was able to use his ashes in this kind of probably like a spell or something and fire to actually manifest back into reality, which uh, was actually kind of cool. Even though it's like okay, we've never really seen anyone do this before. You know, I mean, he's Jacob. He could have just, like, took the rock and the light from the fire with some water and went back in time and then came back. Okay. Yeah, he could have, yeah. He, he, he possibly could have done that. But I kind of liked the idea. Uh, the idea. Yeah, I like the idea. That the fire was and that was still. a long fire. I liked the fire that it was long. It wasn't like, right. I have to tell you something. Da-da-da-da-da, the dumb dead, because the exactly. fire burned out. So Hurley goes and gets Jack and Kate and them and brings them to Jacob. And Jacob, for the first time actually addresses them directly. We saw in season five that he, you know, interacted with them a little bit, but he finally addresses them as, yes, you are here because of me, and they're then... They're he, able they, to see him, finally. They're able to see him, and he explains pretty much what they're there for, and I thought that... I was very satisfied with the yeah, explanation. I'm glad that they explained it. Um, Except, you still don't know why they have to protect this light. Yeah. We you have to protect this light. Well, the light, Why? you know, we're not entirely sure. I, I did like that Jacob explained why he chose them, mm -hmm. specifically because they were flawed. And, and alone. I, I remember that season one had a huge feel that all these characters were, were being redeemed for, for their flaws. Mm -hmm. um, and it seemed like certain characters, when they kind of worked through it, like Charlie, sort of were like voted off the island, like, okay, well, you're better now, goodbye. <laughs> so it was kind of kind of interesting um, that we've got these four core characters left and they're finally confronted with why they're there and he rather than choosing his finalist sort of is like hey which one of you wants the job he wanted, he wanted them to have a choice because he didn't have a choice exactly. if you remember from the last episode across the sea I think <clears throat> uh, was very vague but it did kind of set up for this episode and I kind of felt that that's what it was doing like as soon as um, fake mother sort of passed the torch to Jacob I was like we're gonna see this again very soon and um, that the was the case episode. and Jack finally accepts the job which I was extremely pleased yeah, with I knew he's gonna do it uh, I, yeah I knew the he whole was going season to. he's knowing that he has to be on the island and I knew he was gonna take a joke. I felt like they were gonna like try to drag it on a little bit, like show all the characters' faces and then yeah. show them again and then show it like again. But it was sort of like Jack's like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Without even really fully understanding. See, even then, Jacob didn't bother to explain uh, what the light was. There's just a light on the island, um, the heart of the island, whatever. Which so now he's gonna be able to get to it. Yes. Like he couldn't before. Like, I don't really so maybe understand. Maybe there's like a way... Because Jack obviously knew there's nothing out there. You know. Remember him saying that. He's, there's okay. nothing out there. When he said, where well, you fell in the bamboo patch... Right. He said, 
across the the river. You said across the river. Yeah. Well, actually, um, when I was reading, island. when I was reading, and Jack um, said he said clearly there's nothing out there. I actually found this interesting. I was reading um, on the Lostpedia Wikia page or whatever about across the sea, and a lot of people were pointing out, well, hey, when they're walking towards the light. They're walking through bamboo. The only time that we've seen bamboo was the very first episode when Jack landed. Jack landed. And so when they brought that up in this episode, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, right. Jack was sort of immediately thrust from the plane to towards the heart of the island. Um, so it sort of, you know, was kind of fitting in a sense that that's where it was. You know, maybe he just... Uh, I mean, he walked, obviously, back towards the beach. Maybe he yeah, just didn't search it thoroughly. Or maybe look. there's a mystical sense to finding this I light because is. the Man in Black yeah. searched for it for 30 years. He said he, 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 said he, he, he scaled and he went across all parts of the island and could not find it. But if you dig down, you can find it. 